are the tools that you are going to need to make the conversion. 2.5, 3, and 5 mm Allen keys, a small, flat bladed screwdriver, and some kind of cylinder, like a small plastic bottle. The first step is to remove the trigger mechanism. We do this by using the 3 mm Allen key. Loosen the spindle bolt and lift off the trigger and the torsion spring. We now need to remove the line. We would recommend winding the line onto a small plastic bottle. This will prevent the line from twisting or getting tangled. Continue to turn the bottle, this will prevent the line from twisting. We do this because the line needs to be wound back onto the reel in the opposite direction during reassembly. We really do recommend that you do it this way to keep the line from tangling. We now need to remove the main spool section of the reel. This is retained by a 5mm Allen key bolt through the middle and a nylock nut on the back. Simply loosen the spindle bolt and you should find that the nut just drops off the thread. Lift off the spool section, and this will release the metal washer and the plastic spacer underneath. Then tip the spool section to remove the spindle bolt. We now need to remove the small rubber blanking plug from the main body. This can be quite tricky, but all you need to do is push the small screwdriver down the side and the flexible plug should just pop out. Here we have the main spool assembly. All we need to do with this is reverse the ratchet disc. There is no need to remove the line, just leave that fastened. To remove the disc, use the 2.5mm Allen key. Once the four screws have been removed, turn the disc over, lining up any of the four holes. Replace the screws by running them down to the bottom first, then tighten so they are secure. Now we need to switch the handle around. The handle is retained by two bolts, one at each end, but we actually only need to remove one of them to make the switch. Use the 3mm Allen key to loosen either bolt and you will find a plastic washer underneath. Now switch the handle around as shown. Refit the bolt and tighten securely. We now need to reassemble the trigger mechanism. The trigger needs to be switched from its original position to the opposite side. There are two small holes in the trigger and we want to concentrate on the one on the right the one furthest away from the rubber section. One of the arms on the torsion spring fits into the hole on the right. You will see the pin from the spring coming through the hole. You should grip this in place by pressing your finger against it.
This prevents the spring from falling out while you assemble it. Look inside the real body, and you see a small hole. This is where the other arm of the torsion spring needs to locate. Position the spring into the hole, and when it is in, just push the trigger into position. Keeping the trigger pressed down, refit and tighten the spindle bolt securely. We are now ready to refit the spool mechanism, back onto the real body. Start by fitting the metal washer, and the plastic spacer. Simply lower the spool mechanism onto the real body. Drop the main spindle bolt through the middle, and using the 5mm Allen key, refit the nylock nut. You will feel the resistance of the nylon as you tighten it, then just tighten the bolt securely. This is the spool mechanism reassembled, we just need to finish off by replacing the plastic plug. Ensure the Apex logo is straight, and then just push the plug in. We are now ready to wind the line back onto the reel. This can be made easier by holding the bottle between your feet while winding. This gives better control, and adds a bit of tension to the line. Ensure the line, rolls back onto the reel evenly. And there we have it, the Apex Lifeline Ascend Reel, converted from right-hand operation, to left-hand operation. Just as a final check, make sure the trigger mechanism operates freely, and also the spool mechanism moves smoothly. Thanks for your attention, and I hope this was useful.